All right, everybody, welcome. We are doing a colorful pack this time where there are like gray pets, yellow pets, blue, white, and green, and you can have at most one of each. So if you find like a yellow pet, you can only have one. If you have a, a white one, you can only have one of those. But yeah, you can have a full team if they're all different. And that's probably what I'm going to be doing next turn. Um, you're getting extra attacks. So I probably want that on mouse because I don't think Moss can hit, Moth can hit itself anymore. So this is probably the best order. And we're going to be the bear tugboats. Probably going to regret buying Bluebird, because if it hits Mouse or Pillbug next turn, then that's going to suck. But yeah. They change Pillbug? Yeah, he's a sell, give you a pill now. Unless he's changed again, and I haven't read it. Never mind, let's buy a fish. Yeah, so it's still stock one free sleeping pill. That's okay. Um, probably just stack Bunyip as well. Like, I don't lose anything if I lose her, so... I don't really need to roll, and I don't want another fish. As for positioning, though, maybe this? Slightly better, maybe? No, <laughs> it's dumb now? I like this pill bug. Like, I think this this ability makes more sense, and I think it's really cool that they have added another way to get a pill. I don't know, I just like pilling things. and This makes it, like, twice as easy to pill things. I do too, but it makes Pilby two gold. Yeah, that's fair. It is more expensive, but... You know, it's in addition to, like, regular food slot pills, so... Not completely against it. Um, Actually, I say that, but do I have things I want to pill? I could get, like, rams out of the sheep. <laughs> uh, okay, look, I think I do go for a swan here. But I think I try and stick with you for a long time, because I don't really care about upgrading until maybe tier 3. And honestly, this can be really strong without doing that. I don't know what to do with these. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to say goodbye to the pill, I think. <laughs> Alright, keep buffing you. And honestly, I think I keep rolling. I think just charging up the, um, the bunny up ability is worth more at the moment. And like, I can maybe get more cherries. Ghost Kittens and Upgrade, probably. Yeah, there are, there are some snipers coming up. So, maybe. Lots of people know them as roly-polies. What do we call them here? Oh, Woodlice, yeah. <laughs> I think I've, I've grown up with them being called Woodlice. Assuming it is the same thing, but they look similar at the very least. I kind of want to keep you, but you're... One of the worst things on the team, and if I find like draft scaling, then that's fine. Hmm. Roll one more time. We found a like a black thing at least. I think I just run that because it's like stronger. So you're already charged up. Everything's like fine where it is, I think. I literally just bought this because it's a 3 3. But yeah, let's have a little look at what people are doing. You have a leech. So yeah, Reptile Miner. You can't have two of the same color. Just max one of each. It does seem like we're mostly okay. We have another double white here. I might be missing other ones, but like... <laughs> I think we're good. Okay. Actually, I think we would have been fine even if that did summon something, but... Yeah, Simon's scammy. And there's the Bunyip level, so I'm going to do that. I do love a Toad, and I could just sell it and do that instead, but... Yeah, you're now much nicer. And I think I just buy and build this turtle. Yeah, I'm doing that. Okay. <laughs> the Sandworm thing could have been fun, maybe, but... I think I'm alright. So, I could get another yellow. Or I can, like, swap anything else in, but not out of these. And I think I do want to make sure you're charged up every turn, but I might just double buy avocados next turn. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to keep rolling. All right, Ghost Kitten level, not that interested. Actually, I'm going to sell you to grab a pork pie instead. But yeah, team's looking okay. Rip? No, not rip. Okay, sorry, Sam. My frontline got destroyed by ailments, but turns out we're fine. 
And yeah, I'm just, I'm prepping for next tier, I think. Maybe buy that. There is Tuna, and Tuna Leech can be very fun, because you do like one damage every turn, and this is Faint, give one random friend, plus one, plus one for each time this was hurt. And it is cumulative if you do it in the shop, so nice synergy there. But honestly, I think I just buy this, even at the cost of having one less roll for you. And maybe invest in Porcupine, but probably not. <laughs> I think we just keep going hard on Bunyip. It's too big to drop, so yeah, send that. And let's have another look at what people are running. It's a lot of scary front lines. Like, I don't have a lot of attack to make use of my team too well. My eight's alright, I guess. Oh, huge. Okay. Incredible. <laughs> Alright, please though, we need to swap in new things. This team... This team is fine, but it could be a lot better. Dragonfly. That's scaling for you every turn. Maybe sell the swan. I kind of want to get the dolphin instead of the other guy there, but yeah, you're my... You're my blue, so I actually have to do this. And I could do this, and it is good. But I'm not going to. But I'm not going to commit either. I'd rather have a blowfish if I find that, so... I think we just keep rolling and keep pumping you. I don't know. It's going to be very difficult to pivot away from this anyway, so probably. And then, yeah, buy one more of these. I still don't think I care about leveling either of those, though. And yeah, just keep going crazy on the bunyip. And Dragonfly, those were excellent hits. Thank you. Oh, what about Monkey? I, I don't know. I'm not going to, but I, I didn't think about it, so... Yeah. Alright, so keep pumping you. We do want a banana, because you're probably going to be sticking around for a while. And... I feel mostly safe. I'm going to buy the avocado. We, we lose, like, one roll for you, but it's only 2 HP. And as for the porcupine, I think if I find a macaque, I would sell it, because we have, like, three... I, was, I don't know, we have like three kind of dead slots, and this by itself isn't that impressive either, so... Yeah, I don't think I go for the level here. And hit them again, amazing. Um, It is going to be very difficult to pivot away now, actually. Because I think T-Rex is the scaler I would have gone for. So yeah, maybe I go for cat scaling instead? I'm not sure, there's like polar bear, but it's going to be a lot harder. Beluga, great one. Yes, that, that is an option. Good. Alright, Lemon. Lemon's probably, a, a, like, a lot better for this thing, but looking at the Porcupine, i probably just dump it on there. I'd still much rather have the Blowfish, but I don't know if I can afford to leave it, so... Yeah. And Ibex. Enemy hurt or pushed, remove 70% health from it, works one type per turn. If I had start of combat snipe somehow, like Dolphin, then that could be pretty good. Well, you actually snipe the lowest HP thing, so maybe not amazing. I don't know, but <laughs> I think I do want this, so I think maybe say goodbye to Giraffe now. Oh, the Swan. I feel like we're winning a lot of these fights really easily, so. Yeah, flashlight scaling, have to sell again. But now I am actually going to keep pumping you. I will try and level you up. And that's a bit late. And I think I freeze one of these, but I'm definitely not going for both. We want the level 2, and then I want to pip it away again, so. <laughs> and I'm so lucky that the Dragonfly hasn't been hitting the Giraffe. It doesn't really matter, but it's been saving me a lot. And Sam, I'm sorry. Again. <laughs> Alright. So, Gorilla. I do enjoy Gorilla more than Porcupine. There's a White Tiger I can use, though. I just don't know what I'd have it with. Give two nearest friends behind plus three XP. The issue is I can't use it with the same thing. Crocodile would be fine. Could be good with those. But yeah, I think we swap here maybe. And I really wish I could run Leech and the Gorilla on the same team just for one turn. But that is not an option, sadly. We also don't have a faint pet, so I think I'm going to continue rolling. I want Beluga, right? 
Yeah, I want Beluga. Okay. So let's give Flashlight to Gorilla, Giraffe onto you. Everything else is probably okay where it is. And yeah, there's our first kind of miss with the Dragonfly. You had five lives, then you matched your Kino, now dead. I'm sorry. Oh, they had more attacks, so I didn't get my shield first. Well, I'm very dead, because I don't have anything in my Beluga. And neither did they, actually, but yeah, they had stuff anyway. And real Velociraptor. Friend lost perk, return its perk, works one time per turn. Um, I don't have Hedgehog or... I can't remember what the other one's called, Badger, so I can't force like a permanent thing on the Gorilla. But real Velociraptor could be really good. The only issue is my Scaler is blue. <laughs> so I can't really afford to. So I, I think at the very least we don't take it for now. Oh, I don't know what to do here. Do I keep leveling this? I, I feel like this isn't good enough for like my only Scaler. And also now I've realized I've kind of isolated cats. So maybe it has to be... Don't hit this. Okay. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I can definitely change my yellow. I think everything else is kind of locked in. What is the real Velociraptor a reference to? I think it's just because Velociraptors were meant to be, like, feathery. But, you know, on the, um... The other Velociraptor art is all scaly, like, you know, traditional looking dinosaurs, which probably also had feathers. Anyway, T-Rex, Beluga Whale, Blowfish, Leech, Tuna. I could maybe get the Beluga Whale out of that. The T-Rex is just way too difficult to swap in, though. So yeah, I think I just ignore. Oh, great one. Okay. <laughs> um, Let's try and find different equipment, but yeah, I'm pretty happy to feed a great one to you. Actually, I'm going to keep rolling. I'd rather find, um, equipment, and I'm not getting it, so yeah, I guess I will just buy this. Dibex. I want the other ones! I need to have, like, Leopard and Highland Cow. <laughs> yeah, I'm still pretty sad I'm locked in on the, uh, the Bunyip so much, but yeah, he's not going anywhere. Oh, I was going to say I was lucky to be able to one-shot that, but yeah. <laughs> a little bit short. Compato Bunyip. That is very risky, but potentially. Because obviously if I Compato, it might just turn into something from the same colors I already have. So I guess I guess with this giraffe, it wouldn't matter if it turns into a yellow. But yeah, if it's um, any color other than yellow and green, then I'm kind of screwed. As for the rest of this, I think I just stack that on and then roll. Because, like, leveling anything doesn't really make sense yet. And if we do find another good thing to feed you, then we can just put the chocolates on it right away. As for right now, I'm going to continue rolling. And, yeah, I need I need Highland Cow or Leopard. Something. I need a better yellow. You should put Banana on Gorilla. No, if it gets one shot, then it's fine. But I don't want him to get one shot. <laughs> I want the Coconut Armor. And they're running Mushroom Great One. Okay. Okay, there actually aren't that many T-Rexes. I was half expecting loads of people to have it, but... I think I saw three teams there, and only one of them had one at level two. Alright, great. <laughs> Sorry to speak. But Banana... I know it would look satisfying, but this doesn't help me. And I like having the great one in there. I can double you instead, maybe. Get a little bit closer. Hmm. Hmm? Let me you up. Yeah, probably. I think I'd rather melon, but the only way to guarantee that is pelling a turtle, because it's not actually in the pack. So, yeah, for now, continue just sending it. I do wish I had another level 3, because this is only hitting two things a turn at the moment, but at least I've been fairly lucky with it not hitting the giraffe too often. Wrong yellow fruit. True. Ooh, Yeti Wormersand. I actually didn't consider a roll build with this pack. Oh, my melon. And then I traded horribly! Oh, do I need to reposition? <laughs> that was really bad. Well, we're doing this to start, at least. 
And there's my leopard. Okay, so let's get you out. Um, I should probably just level the gorilla now that I'm here, but I think we do freeze. Pizza. I don't know. It's a risk. It's a risk, but I I need the stats. And I don't know. We could always like freeze them again. We need to get equipment on there. So yeah, I think next turn I buy leopard, buy pizza, and depending on whether it hits the beluga or not, I am trying to feed it a lemon to fix it. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think I'm sending it this way, maybe. You still die to the great one getting summoned, but at least you have something behind it. Any great one nukes? I don't know. There's a level 2 mushroom one here. I don't have time to see if there's any, like, beluga ones around, other than mine. And that's very disappointing. What did you eat? No! <laughs> Bino! Someone sent help. I'm getting destroyed. Okay, so try this. Ooh, but then if you eat that first, then we're wrecked. Yeah, this is bad. Okay. Um, don't risk either of these. Yeah, we can level you up. And then I'm freezing pizza. We're still risking it next turn, but yeah, I can't buy any of that. Yeah, alright. So, again, you would survive the great one, so I can leave you behind if I want. But it doesn't change a whole lot. Maybe I have to do this. I need a, like, great one in front of Gorilla to, like, get the free trigger off. <laughs> Just have this up here or something. All right, now I have no tier ones, level ones. I don't know. This team isn't long for the world anyway. It's not like terrible to be fair, but yeah. If I don't get to level three, my scaling's gonna hold me back a bit. I think. Hmm. Actually doing pretty well. Hold on. Um. So yeah, I'm I'm risking this. It might hit the beluga. It did not. Perfect. And now you can actually survive the um. Look well, so yeah, that's great. And then cornucopia? I don't mind. Tomato. Hot dog's also really good because it might hit you, but yeah. Let's get the tomato and then honestly I might just move you further forward. Do something like this, keep rolling. More pizza. I think I have to. I can't afford to not buy stat food, but it is a huge risk with the beluga like this. But, I don't know. <laughs> I'm almost dead anyway, so... We can maybe find something better. Mushroom Great One failed you. Well, I'm really proud that you went for it, because Great One is a fun build. Yo. Again, can't remember what's in here, but... It's you again. That's fine. Alright, got you this time, Bino. <laughs> Alright. Get rid of this. And honestly, a Nessie isn't too bad, so. Okay, good. Still dodged it, which is preferable. Could I please find levels for something? <laughs> Anything? I think Lemon on that would be nice, but. Yes. Okay, let's try and get you done. Another great one. Okay, great. So I can buy the pizza, and if it does hit that, then, you know, fine. But if it doesn't, then I can also just give the Beluga Whale equipment. But yeah, that doesn't mean I need to find good equipment, which isn't that lightly. And everyone's really low HP. But yeah, cat scaling looking pretty good. I don't know, real boss trap to porcupine melon. I'm not sure if I'm gonna win this one. I don't hate where I'm at, but yeah. <laughs> okay, still double trade at the front. Yo. Okay, I'm not sure I deserve that one. <laughs> I think they definitely had the better team. Do that. And then, do I do sushi as well, or do I just try and get equipment? I should probably get equipment. Or not. Fine. <laughs> yeah, fine. Okay, lemon. If we live another turn, then we can lemon you up. And yeah, like this is... This is nice. Kind of. We're top four, but yeah. Like, look at that. It's a level three fifty attack left. It's like, if I go against that, I'm screwed. And I'm lucky this didn't have enough to um trigger this early, because that would have really messed up my great one thing at the back. 
Okay. Ready you. Uh, yeah, we're just putting this in ASAP. So you still have a great one. I don't think I need to change any other equipment. Yeah. Okay, I'm not freezing the pizza. I need to try and get the um the level on here. And even the gorilla's just not really worth it at this stage. Like it's not surviving three hits. Probably. We can maybe just go for it, but again, there's no time left in the game. Like at best I'm getting the leopard level, and that's really it. So I think that's all I can look for. Even if it's really tiny. Four people at one HP, yeah. So I imagine there's only gonna be two people alive next turn. It's the 50-50 leopard. Hold on. Actually really good. It's dead. <laughs> Top two. How do I keep getting such amazing trades? Um, again, these don't matter. I could buy the pair for the leopard, but the level means slightly more. <laughs> Not even that much more, but a little bit. Come on. Rip. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep rolling. If I don't find a, um, another great one to freeze, then I can't be bothered to buy random food. It's very likely to mess me up. As for the front line, it's a 50-50, but is that enough to trade? Because it's taking away at 7 each time. That is okay, right? Like, we still double hit that? And mine doesn't die on the first hits? Barely? Oh, no. Enough to my attack. And I also lost the equipment, which was pretty bad. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, the toad kind of wrecked me. But top two? Can't complain. Alright. Well, GG's. Good game, everyone. Okay, everybody, welcome. We are doing a dragons-only lobby, which means when you end your turn, you can only use pets with either dragon in its name or that just is kind of a dragon. So that is going to include Frilled Dragon, Dragonfly, Red Dragon, Dragon, and Komodo, which, in, at least in my mind, is always called Komodo Dragon. So yeah, those five things. All food is allowed. If you find a sloth, you are allowed that. And anything else goes, I guess. Actually, probably should be buying these. Um, so yeah, get the tennis ball. Ooh, almost lost that. <laughs> I hate these, like, I don't know if it's my mouse or if it's the game, but every other time I go for a right-click freeze, it just double taps. Alright, so yeah, get these out. And probably just buy some mouse. We're going to want to stack stats onto it, so... You know, drink keep one alive. And then, yeah, maybe <laughs> like buy some ferret again next turn. I imagine there's going to be a lot of 1-1s one around. Some of them are getting buffed up, though. This is not enough. I'm already on five, so it's fine, but... Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunates. Anyway. Uh, Pride Trip. I think it is worth buying one of those. Like, I can keep one of these at one, <laughs> one HP the whole time, maybe. And then Lima. Probably not worth it when my other guy is just, like, a 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, I, that's not worth it. There's no point with these either. Yeah. Okay, so I need to find more of these. I need to stack them up. And hopefully I'll have, like, enough 1-1s one ready for a combo by tier 3. Because, yeah, the earlier I find a Dragonfly, the better, probably. But, yeah, these three seem to be the, the real top choices. And we're gonna lose. Okay, Cherries is smart. Can I get more stats or something? Or fried shrimp. Uh, I don't know. If I keep running against other people with the tennis ball, then buying the thing there isn't helpful. It shouldn't be an otter at the very least, but... Yeah, I don't know. I think I am going to buy this at least. And another one. And then we just kind of pray. Ooh. Okay, I don't believe I saw any cherries either, which would be helpful. No, hit the front lines, why? Oh god, I might have been dead anyway, but that was really bad hit for me. Alright, cherries, good. Um, might as well put it on these ones, because it's not like anyone else is going to survive anything. And yeah, I could go for a combo now. So, do I do that? 
Probably, right? Let's just like stack it into this one. Let's see how that goes. And we did find a dragonfly, excellent. Alright, so we can buy you next turn then. And we're literally scaling you and one of these two every turn. So yeah, we're like making progress. I could garlic up my front line, but yeah, other people's are a lot larger and it doesn't help against these ones. So I think I do just commit to trying to find stats for the moment. Save? I didn't get like destroyed from the snipes. Yeah, okay, not a win, but we're we're fine. Still in three. Vet fish, that would be a very nice pill. Um hold on. Do I wanna I probably wanna try and find a turtle's pill next turn. So I don't know, we can maybe just like buy these for now. And actually found this, which is beautiful. Do I put it on the dragonfly, or do I try and commit to a pivot as soon as possible? Okay, I think I keep doing this for now. Because I may have to swap away dragon... Like, it's, it's better than these in terms of, like, an actual ability, because these aren't going to do anything. But the dragonfly is a 1-1. One, one. By the time, like, all the other dragons are out, I won't need the dragonfly either. So I probably just try and make this as strong as possible, and then... Yeah. <laughs> Run away when I can swap everything else in. Good. Okay, first trophy, show me melon as well. Preferably just turtle pill or pill bug, but yeah. <laughs> and I'm actually gonna leave the fairy. Like we don't we don't need that. Ooh. One in five to try and get a fire dragon. Is that worth combining these? There are like some decent other things here, like you know, cow, zebra, stingray, maybe even blobfish, but yeah, I think I I think I try that. Alright. <laughs> okay, well, I'm doing that anyway. And... Buy that as well, maybe? I don't know. Oh, huge. Okay. Alright then, next turn we pill turtle onto probably the higher attack one. And then I think I just, like, avocado and then try and look for things at tier 5. I think red dragon is the first thing that I definitely want to keep on my team forever. So, yeah, if you roll into any of those, then helpful. Okay. Right, so let's make sure this is down. I want to have money for next turn. And then I don't know what to do with Crow. Like, I could try and level Dragonfly, but... Also, yeah, now I realize you're not scaling as much, but... <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, I think I'll just, like, hold that there. Um, and I will risk a, risk a Stoat. If it misses, then it's one gold. If it doesn't, then it'll be a tiny dragon, but it will be a dragon. And I don't know, if it turns into like a turkey, could be good. Zebra's fine as well. But Lovefish isn't terrible. Could maybe pill an eagle, but I doubt it. I don't know, this isn't feeling too bad. You know, my 10 10 is just getting incredible trades. Turkey, potential, but I'm not going to buy it before doing this. An eagle. Okay, so I could pill that, and there is like a tiny chance that it turns into one of these two. So, let's see. I could pill it again, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to do the chocolate, though. Like, I don't know if I'm going to find a, a pill if I keep this frozen. So, we do that. Buying a lemon could be fine, or just by selling this, but I really want to find um, a pill or a dragon or something here. A level. Okay, you know what? We're just doing that. Show me the thing I want, please. No. Uh, okay. That's fine. We're still doing okay. Yeah, red dragons are coming out, though. There's so a lot of dragonflies around as well, but yeah, that's that's fine. Like, the real scalers are the tier 6s. And we got, like, amazing trades there. Cool, okay. Phoenix doesn't count right? No, it's just the things with dragon in the name or um, Komodo, which should have dragon in the name. Anyway, please show me 
Hmm. I actually have money rolling for Red Dragon, so I don't mind buying Avocado, I think. There's another one of these. I really don't want more of those. Ugh. Oh, whatever. Okay. Buy this. Red Dragon. Okay. I actually would have been able to buy it. Rip. Yeah, I've been wasting this Dragonfly for ages, but... Again, hopefully it doesn't matter. And here come Komodos. Does anyone, anyone have a dream, Green Dragon yet? There's one. Okay. Still not looking that bad, actually. Like, I lost... 2 HP early, but yeah, I can like deal with a lot of these teams. My thing. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I need a Komodo or something very soon. Hello. <laughs> okay, I think we start by leveling Komodo. Because you're going to be my scaler in all likelihood, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to afford to swap to like a full team of green dragons, even if I found it. And I see like mongoose and pizza, but I think I just roll. Like the earlier I get this level up, the better. And sadly, I don't think I can afford to sell the frill dragon here, so I'm not going to level it this turn. But yeah, could have been fun. I think I'd try and find another red dragon, maybe. I think that's the end to this team. I either keep the team as it is. Or I managed to sell one of the Thrill Dragons for a, another Red Dragon. Because we could potentially get 5 Crisp on the enemies that way. But again, not sure how I'm going to do it with them. Um... <laughs> 2 HP and kinda tiny things. Great trades. Okay. So we can level you up. Show me like another Komodo, maybe. Nope. Uh, there is Tapis. I could maybe like sell one of these and try and fill it. <laughs> okay, we're doing that. Come on, this guy. No. Okay, not a huge fan of that. Um, kind of regret it. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually just gonna combine that in immediately and get the chocolate here. And we can at least level Red Dragon next turn. But that wasn't exactly how I wanted it to go. You're dead, but that's the game as you get to eat. I think I'm not going to be too far behind you. Yeah, I'm, I'm afraid of like actual dragon scaling. If people have multiple green dragons, then they can probably get them up to very high stats very quickly. Okay, 1 HP. Can I come back at all from that? Another Komodo. That's something to end on. So I think I... Do I still do that? Oh, do I even bother with Komodo, actually? If I run another one, then it could get, like... Depending how I run it, because I could do it this way. And then that would trigger first, and then we could always make, um... Like, the most out of both Komodo things, but... Yeah, <laughs> still, like... Still kind of messy. Oh god, okay. I think I have to. Yeah, I think we're dead otherwise, and I don't think the one crisp is going to make a difference, so I need to try and rely on this just working. And I don't have room to do dragon scaling, so... Yeah, you trigger first, you buff all those, they get shuffled, that's fine. Then you trigger, and then you scale everything and shuffle again, so that should be... okay. Dragonfly, I need to be careful with that. It probably won't matter, I'm <laughs> I think I'm dead here. Uh, yes. Very dead. Okay. <laughs> you got me, Sam. Uh, where did I come? About halfway. Okay, that's not, like, terrible, terrible then. But yeah. Uh, good luck to everyone still remaining. GG's.